gonna break a hip, the eye. Ouch! Yeah, ain't no joke. Yeah. I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> nice. Not rocking the John Pauls. Hey, man, uh, I'm putting John Pauls to rest. I'm rocking the Ducos today. So it's going to be Ducos from now on. After a year of fucking battling, dude, this is what went down. Got the John Pauls, got a crack right there at the top. Not good. Got the John Pauls, they got a fucking crack right there on the side. <laughs> Not good. Got the $80 John Pauls, got a fucking crack on the side. Do you Not get good. a second pair of those when you buy one? Or, I mean, do dude, you buy no. those at like 2 o'clock at night? Or how does that work? Bro, I've been trying to pimp them for like a year. Really? Getting swag and shit, trying to do that shit. Are they better it. than the blue blockers? They're, you know, they're all HD or ultra definition okay, or whatever. You know what but, I'm talking about. but you see these fucking Ducos, man. They're made I like out the of flexibility in them. Yeah, they're made of something different, man. And they're fucking a lot thicker in the break points of the John Paul. So. I could conceivably put those in my ass pocket and spit on them. That's what I'm yeah, saying, man. Fucking. Them. And they got breathers on the top right here, dude. I mean, let me see these. They're they're, they're a good pair of shades, or? dude. It's, you know, fog is a yeah. Is, no, no. Is a thing. See, they got the fog shit, dude. They're fog free. And here's some Mr. O's. I got these because I'm trying oh, to I'm trying oh. to find my new shit. These are some Mr. O's, and look at the breathable shit on the Mr. O's, dude. These are a little more uh, you know, stylish, maybe. And these are I spies. I mean. Here's some fucking Otter Pops. I don't know, Kev. I still feel like I'm in a fucking... I'm a 90s douchebag. I know. Beat up the, uh, you know, the high school. Uh, well, you guys probably know right, right now fucking Weller's not here, so I got a fucking uh, golf icon from my past, Stop. dude. This guy a fucking legend in my mind, dude. Oh, I'm humbled, man. Thank you Dude, pull me. the mic in, Nate. Pull the mic in there. I am humbled for you having me on oh, your podcast, man. Kevin. No, I sincerely I fucking, mean that. I really do. Besides myself, dude, there's plenty of guys that fucking look up to you. We did as young men, you know, fucking... Uh, oh, fuck, man. I enjoy this guy. He's a big part of my life and helped me become the man I am today. Oh, Love man. this guy, dude. It's fucking Nate Tosta right here, boys. Uh, that, 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 that smile right now, it's, um, it's genuine. Thank you, man. All I right. appreciate that. Yeah, so go ahead, Nate. Tell him what's up. Tell him what you're about, dude. Give him a little uh, intro. I'm glad to have. I'm glad that you have me here. I'm happy to speak here in front of everyone. Your uh, your and Dave's podcast is. Um, I've watched it four or five times now, and um, here I am to speak about it. The only thing that I can really say and what I have to offer is, is just any kind of interesting perspective that you may be able to throw at me. I don't have any topic that I am. 100% on. Well, you know, we got a 6% guarantee, dude. So as long as you're within 6%. It's like the polls, right? Yeah, yeah, right, dude. So as long as you're within 6%, you're good, dude. Thank you. And again, thank you for having me, Kevin. I sincerely appreciate no it. No problem. I look forward to this show. We did a little pre-gaming with some four rows, right? Yes, we did, man. I'm about <laughs> four or five deep right now. Yeah. And uh, I'm ready to riff. We're, we're fucking digging, dude. All right. Let's bring it. So we'll do our weekly what's ups, man. Um, what's up to Scott Abraham? What's Scooter? What's up to Casey Williams? What's up to Chris Whittemore? My man Hugo. What's up to Bull? JK. What's up to Tony Arredondo? Marco Moreno. Sarah Reed. What's up to Nas and the Illmatic 25th? Is that right? That is correct, man. It's, it's Nas's Illmatic album 25th anniversary. Maybe arguably. Pull it in a little tighter, Nate. I could, I could pull it. Arguably. The greatest album of all time. All right. Arguably, I like that. We can go off on that, too, if you want. What's up to Dr. Hillary? My hips. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Dr. Hilari. Oh, he Hilari. corrected both of my hips. Yes, I am a true warrior. I got both of my hips corrected in the same surgical sitting. And here I am in two to three weeks. I will be up and doing kung fu. Dude, you battle, man. You're fucking battling, dude. Fucking A. I'm a warrior. Go warrior, baby. <laughs> What's up to wifey and the nurse? Yeah. What's up to Tiger, who inspired your recovery? Yes, he did. Thank you. Let me talk on that for a second. Hit man. it up, dude. Um, I think that all of us, as, as we get older, we kind of look to who could be our inspirations and such. I mean, I mean, I watched Tiger play golf throughout his years. 
And yeah. um, let's be honest, man. He was on tra- the trajectory to be the greatest of all time. So to see someone come off that hill and falter as he did, I mean, through injuries and, well, through a lot of his own doings, obviously. Yeah, fucking life happens. Life happens, man. And, I mean, if anything, as Americans, we love a comeback story. So to have that coincide with my recovery as it was going on, um, it was truly inspirational. And, I mean, I'm not trying to be fucking corny or I don't even know what the word would be, but... As he was winning that Masters, man, every day and every stroke that he would overtake, man, I would, it would elevate me. So, it all just proves an old guy can still fucking do what he can do, man. That's it, man. Fucking, what's Seriously. that song? Uh, I'm as good as I once was. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm yeah. not as good as, I, yeah, you're right about that one. I like, forget. fucking one time I'm going to fucking put it down on the pussy, or one time I'm going to kick your fucking ass. That's right. Fucking, I got that one time left in me, dude. Uh, you know, he may have a couple more left, man. We'll see. But any, either way, it was very inspirational. I think Tiger's a pimp, dude. Oh, fuck. I love Tiger. I mean, He's my favorite athlete of all time. You know, the only thing I can see is that Obama put him in underground, right? Because Tiger was fucking down and out. Absolutely. But now that Trump's president, he's fucking coming <laughs> back, dude. He did experience that eight-year lull, didn't he? Yeah, dude. Uh, you know uh, that's funny as fuck, dude. You're right, man. Fuck it. I credit Trump. <laughs> Thank it's, you, Trump. Trump gets blamed for everything, dude. So that's an ongoing thing. Like, thanks, Trump. You know that the drought ended in California, so I was like, "Hey, man, thanks, Trump." Trump. He fucking gave him the Presidential Medal of Freedom too. Yeah. Or he's about to. <laughs> that's funny as fuck. Right, man. Okay, we'll end up with subs so with we'll our special shout out to Rich Kawasaki. Lives in Springfield, Missouri. He was a Valley Oaks ele- Elementary alumni from '81 to '84. These special ops, uh, last known projects he worked on were Condor and Black Glove. Black Glove. Yep. Black Glove. And uh, he's currently employed by Atlas and Google. So this what's up, Rich? That's good, man. We'll throw Shout some it hand. in, Rich. Yeah, we'll throw some hands on the what's ups, dude. And Nate, since you're fucking... Uh, s- Special guest hosting, dude. You go ahead and pick the topic, man. We'll float on it, bro. Uh, let's get heavy, man. Let's go off the collusion right now, but I'm going to defer to you. Go All right. Start. Uh, we'll knock out collusion real quick here. <clears throat> so the Mueller report came out this week, basically says no collusion, no obstruction. Uh, Democrats are pissed off. Fucking looks like uh, Deep State's going to be getting it on the other side because now they're investigating how collusion started. And that's basically a summary of what fucking went down there. I guess, but it's like, I don't, I haven't read the whole, I mean, I'm not too involved in it all to read the whole fucking report and what have you, but it's just like, obviously there were some things there. And to me, if the man is the president, he's the head of our country, so to speak, I mean, figuratively or not. We may have to take a harder look at it and just not realize it. What is his, its face value? I mean, at its face value, I, I yes, he's uh, been. There is no collusion, I guess. Dude, the way I see it is, they did two years on this Joker, right? right they went right. after his wife, his kids, right? Everybody, man. I'm satisfied in that regard too. You're right. I mean, everybody went after this guy. So if they had something, they would have fucking turned him over, man. I, I would mean. think, but I mean, the the more, and this is just like maybe this is the media telling me what I need to say too. But I mean, the more I I hear and what have you, there's a lot of stuff that maybe we don't know from this report. And here again, I'm not gonna sit there and uh, dissect it, but um. Dude, I'm telling you, if Adam Schiff had anything, it would be out on the plate. You know what I mean? They'd be chopping it up. If fucking any of them had something, they'd have it on the plate and say, here it is. Let's fucking get this fucker. I would hope, and I would have uh, no umbrage with it whatsoever if it were to come out in his favor, come 100%, or, you know, it, 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 it led us to hanging him. But I just, I don't think, I think that there's so much. It's so vague right now is what's being put out. And it's up to us to read it thoroughly. And I'm, oh, fuck, man. I mean, I read and what have you, but I'm not ready to read that thing to the letter of the law. But, dude, you know I'll, I mean? I'll tell you what, bro. That you're right. The media puts out there what they want you to know. Right. What they want you to believe. And the collusion has been part of this from the get-go. But the way the way it started, man, was they was trying to cover up some shit that was going on before the campaign, right? That, that was like their go-to in case he became president. I guess, but now I, I from what I've read here again, um, 
in the recent headlines. Now they're trying to uh, pin something on Barry, too. And it's like, I don't... Uh, uh, you know, the guy was fucking president at the time, but it's just like... Well, in that regard, what they do is, okay, let's say, like, fucking... Uh, you got uh, Paige and Shifty, those two guys taxing and shit, right? Running the bullshit. Then you got Comey above them. Then you got McCabe. Then you got Loretta Lynch, right? So... Who was getting the orders? Was everything coming down from Loretta Lynch? Was she running the show? I uh, I can't comment on that. I don't know enough about it. But I mean, it all goes back to this too. Why did he fire Comey? That's a little weird to me. Well, you know, and if he would have done it when he wanted to, he probably would have been right. in, some, in some fucking shady water. And that's what they're kind of leading to. But as president, I mean, look at this guy. He ain't no politician. First of all, he's not a politician, right? All right. He's a fucking billionaire. And I think that's where most of the hate comes from is you got a bunch of millionaires hating on a billionaire, right? Mm, I don't know if he's a billionaire. I mean, that's hate. I mean, you call them haters or whatever, right? Like fucking if I'm rolling a Bentley and I pull up to a fucking Toyota sideshow, you know, uh, fucking rolling a Bentley, people are hating, dude. <laughs> I, yeah, but I mean, him being a billionaire, that's... That's pretty much nebulous as well. I mean, why are you showing me, show me your fucking tax returns, man? I dude, mean, seriously. Dude, it's my fucking American right for you not to know my tax returns. Right. I'll keep that shit gold, dude. Yeah, but I mean, still, Although, it's a little skeptical as him being president. <laughs> we, Everyone else has. You and I both have been bent over by this <laughs> IRS, Nate. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in the intern, the, the other side of the other answer to that question is, I'll show you my tax returns. It's no problem at yeah, all. Yeah, I still won't show you mine, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'll go ahead and show you. <laughs> I was trying to get away with it, and I couldn't. I know, man. They fucking catch on. But... <laughs> what's up, man? Collusion. We're going to figure out what's going on with that shit, dude. So we'll fucking close that bitch out. Nice. How about the, uh, the fucking church fire, dude? That is interesting to me. Um, in the one regard, I mean... I am a Catholic. I can't remember the last Christmas Eve I went to mass. But you I, went to catechism mode. Didn't oh yeah, you? yeah absolutely. Dude. I'm one. I'm damn near confirmed. I mean, actually, I, you know, I have a, a, a lot of regrets that I never was confirmed. And I sometimes think about going back to the church just to do that only as well. However, with that, I think that maybe this is God. Giving them their penance, man. For, dude, for all know, the fucking for child, the kid fucking, the man. child touching Seriously. and shit, dude. And I mean, I'm not trying to be extremely spiritual or what have you, or you know, out there or what have you. But uh, it's a little bit to do with that, almost to me. You know what got me, bro, is that this church has been rebuilt several times. I mean, right. they've done a lot of fucking rebuilding to that bitch from the get go. Second thing is, they got all the money in the world, dude. They raised Thank like you. 800 million euros in three days, dude. Christ, and then that... Um, a euro's worth more than a dollar. Thing, yeah, dude. euro's yeah. worth more than a dollar, dude. Come on. And I mean, the, the, the Catholic Church itself is probably one, one of the most profitable organizations in the history of the world, even. And, and here we are, we're donating to them to rebuild. I mean, that's a, that's a little... Uh, well, you know what? It, it got into a, a, popu a popularity war of, of charity, dude. You're where, right. Like J Lo was fucking throwing money, and then Mark Angelo fucking started throwing money, and then right. another cat comes in and be like, "Oh well, you gave fifty million, I'm gonna give a hundred. and then the next dude's like, "Well, I'm gonna give a hundred fifty million." You know, I mean, it's fucking bullshit, dude. I know. I th I believe it is too. It's like California asking, you know, the nation, aka Trump, to come in here and take care of our fires or what have you. Yeah. Fuck, we're like what twenty billion uh, of a surplus now. Yeah, we can't take care of that ourselves. I mean, albeit it happened. Shit, now let's deal with it, man. Yeah, man. I mean, they got fucking stockpiles of money, dude. Right. Look at man. When okay, this one always gets me. So you pay your fucking California income tax. Yes. It's like eleven percent. Right. Then you take your dollar and you buy something. You pay California another eight cents. Mm -hmm. So California's getting nineteen cents out of every dollar you made. Yeah, they are. They're what the fuck? Hand do we over get? fist. What we the are. fuck do we get, dude? Well, I mean, I'm on disability now, man. I'm not gonna fucking complain well, too much. When, when I'm on that fucking team, dude, I'll fucking be singing a different song. But uh, you know, they can appropriate the funds properly. I agree with that. But I mean, hey, dude, here again, I'm, this is all I'm asking for, dude. Tax everybody the same. I like that. You know, if like you it. if you want us to be socialist, let's start with taxing first. Right. Let's tax everyone the same. Because I got too many bros of mine that fucking know the tax game, and they pay way less in tax than I do, and they make way more money, dude. Yeah, and I, where does that happen? You know what I'm saying? I mean, 
why can't we figure that out? Dude, it's like a fucking... I heard an old schooler tell me it's like Monopoly, right? <laughs> Everybody plays Monopoly as a kid, right? Yeah. And your goal is to buy houses and then buy hotels and shit, right? But like fucking one in a hundred do that in real life. <laughs> Think about it, dude. That's pretty much life is Monopoly. You're right. Man. Dude, very few people do that, but... We ran off the church fire. Let's close that fucker out, too. Nice. So what's up with uh, 40-year-old fashion, dude? Oh, wow, <laughs> man. Where do we even start with that? I mean, here we are. We're in our 40s. We're trying to reclaim our 20s. Let's fucking be honest, all right? You know, I heard, like I told you earlier, I heard it like you dress <laughs> the way you last felt cool. When so, you're in your heyday. Yeah, so when you're in your heyday, you're fucking 18, 20, 22 years old. Yeah. You're feeling fly and shit. You're still dressing that way today. But I mean, what do you what do what do you do with it? I mean, because it all comes from the man's, uh, you know, self conscious too. So you're you, you're trying to be who you were when you were coolest, but yet you're not trying to look like some other douchebag that's just out there in the world too, man. It's just like way too obvious. You know, you can cover yourself up with the tattoos and shit, and you fucking wear your, you know, what do they call these ones, man? The uh, flat lid ball cap. Flat or, lid ball clap. There you go. Yeah. Uh, or what? Yeah, because you know, back in the day, they used to fucking yeah pinch no, that shit. We don't do the like that. We no, don't do the John funny. Cena anymore. You can, you can you can pull that off right there though, too. That's cool, right there. <laughs> that might be the next step of us, man. Dude, right the there. taco. Yeah, the taco. Holder that might here. be the next step. But it's like, what do you do, man? Do you go out and you, do you buy cords, Kev? Aqua cords. I bought, <laughs> you've seen them, dude. <laughs> I've been trying to bring cords back, dude. Besides the sound it makes when you walk, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking different, man. Anywhere I go, I never see anybody in cords, bro. Well, there might be a reason for that, too. But, I mean, but <laughs> it's, there's, a, there's a, a method to my madness, bro. It's like, fucking, I want to be who I am, right? <laughs> but cords weren't cool since, like, what, 78? Maybe, maybe yeah, you're 80, right. Oh, maybe geez. 80. Because I think in 80, parachute pants came out and shit, dude. <laughs> and I never had parachute pants either. Yeah, why don't you just rock those in, man? Fucking oh, parachute pants, dude. <laughs> we'll save that for the transgender if we get to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, I, I, I get it. I mean, the best you can do is just try and make yourself happy and comfortable. Really? Well, I'll tell you what, bro. I've always set, seen these old guys that are retired and shit, right? Mm -hmm. And I envy the cats that are wearing like the fucking, the old school OP shorts that are cut like fucking high thigh right there, right? And oh, they're yeah, rocking man. Vans. Yeah. You know what I mean? I look at those guys. I'm like, dude, that guy's fucking 55 years old. He's rocking Vans and fucking shorts, dude. Yeah, that's you or me. We can do that right now. That That's fine. But, that, I mean, if you start rocking, like, the, the Tom of Bahama shit or whatever that shit oh, is, you know what I'm saying? shit, yeah, yeah. And the did. Hawaiian shirts, bro. Yeah, we have to check ourselves at that point. Well, and I'm wondering, too, if it's in our own mind, like, if uh, Dickies, mm -hmm. uh, fucking Ben Davis, right. uh, Vans, Puma, you know, if all these things are fucking... <laughs> legendary wares or are they just fucking caught up in our mind dude? i don't know that's why maybe we should just ask someone randomly when we're out you know hey man I'm like what do you think of this right now am i like hey, am, am i too stuck old? in the 80s or you know because you're right i mean fuck that that's what you do you revert to when you were cool well dude like i'm a t-shirt guy i wear t-shirts all the time right right me i'm too. not a fucking button up guy nope. with the fucking tie and all that shit i don't i do that for weddings or funerals that's it dude you know, no, fucking, I, I'm not wearing a tie, bro. No, I know that. And um, I took on a new role in my uh, in my work after the first of the year is where I can just, like, wear whatever I want within reason. So I bought a fucking stack of, like, 10 to 15 band shirts that I've always liked, too. Fuck yeah, dude. So, but at the same time, man, I mean, like, I'm a 48-year-old man. I'm over here rocking fucking band, band shirts. shirts. Why not, dude? What I, I got cramps on, dude. <laughs> I know. It's <laughs> like... At some point, do you even look at yourself and be like, dude, am I a character, character of myself? How's that work go? Yeah. I caricature like yeah. of myself, who I was. You know what I'm saying? Or am I trying to progress past that? Or What am I doing here? I don't know. I think my, my first thing with fashion is comfort, right? Right. Me too. Because uh, it was probably, I don't know, maybe two or three years ago, I got a pair of Pumas for fucking Christmas. Right. Well, the way Pumas fit in my arch of my foot... Oh, dude, it feels so good compared to my flat-footed slip-on Vans, or you know. Is what that I mean? where you're rocking the Clydes right now? Yeah, fucking. Okay. I mean, they're so fucking comfortable, dude. And from there on, I've just been rocking Pumas for like three years now, dude. 
Right. And I mean, it's something we fall back into. It's like along the lines of the Diggies or the Ben Davis. Man. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's comfort, but it's something that we are comfortable with, too. Yeah. It's something we're comfortable with going outside. This is who I am, man. Yeah, and this I, is who I was when I was like 20-something, and I was fucking cool, man. Yeah, and I think, you know, the biggest one you need to impress is your old lady. Oh, yeah. You know, and if your old lady... It is. If your old lady's cool with what you're wearing, and <laughs> then you're good. Because I've had my old lady tell me before, like, hey... You need to put something else on. I'm like, oh, really? It's like that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've had that and I've been like, yeah, shut up, man. I I'm going to go out here looking like an idiot. I did it to her a couple, it was a couple weeks ago. We were going to crab feed and she wanted to wear this little fucking noodle tank top thing yeah. that showed her boobs off. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. to right here, dude. Yeah, no, nah, man. No. Nah. I'm like, uh -uh. no. No. Fucking, first of all, we're going out. So I don't <laughs> want other guys looking at your tits all night. Because even if <laughs> girls are going to have a conversation with her, they're going to be looking at her tits all night. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, man. I mean, Plus, we're drinking. Yeah. We're drinking at a crab feed. So no. you know there's people that get fucking Looney Tunes drunk. Especially Portuguese dudes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they fucking want to battle, dude. I don't want to be... I just like, babe, come on. Put something else on. You know? Yeah, that's when you get into style and function. And functionally, I just don't... I wouldn't... I wouldn't I, I'm with you right there, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah, you know. But fucking, I like T-shirts, man. Like, I got a State of Derek Jefferson shirt. You know, the oddball shit that pops up here and there, you get a T-shirt of it. I love wearing that shit, man. Yeah, I do. I Like, I'm a sucker for that stuff that comes across the Facebook or whatever. Like, oh, so you like, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. So you like Bernie Sanders by yeah. this. Yeah. So I've got a couple of those and all that. But, I mean, how do you feel about cargo shorts, man? That's a hot, hot topic. Oh, man. Fucking, I seen them dogging on that shit. But I got a couple pairs. I, I mean, so do I. They're fucking camouflage, too. That's what we wear, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I have the camouflage ones right. on, too. But I, I've been reverting back to, I got some of these old, like, uh, what are these? Quicksilver fucking plaid shorts. Nice. Like oh, yeah. The, the fucking, they had a name for them when we were kids. They were like Bermuda shorts. Bermuda shorts, you're right. Yeah, I think right. I'm, I'm reverting back to that now. I might try that out, man. Yeah, because they were, well, I seen you at Vita's funeral, you had some badass. I did, you're right, man. I was kind of trying to, uh, you know, relive. <laughs> Here we are again when yeah. we were cool. <laughs> but you look sick, dude. When I seen you, I was like, oh, fucking Nate's to the, the nines, dude. You was looking good, dude. Someone told me I look like a Hawaiian Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I could go with that, dude. That was honest. I didn't know. I, I don't know, something. man. That's the other thing, too. Dude, we're creeping on 50, right? Mm hmm. So mm. I don't know that we can be fucking cool and be fifty. I don't think there's a, there, there's no uh, equation where you can honestly because you're especially you know guys like us we have kids yeah so they're always gonna tell us dad you're a fucking dork man yeah yeah you know what I mean <laughs> they're gonna have that hot button on what is pop culture yeah yeah because I mean even like uh like my skater shit right is like right. fucking pound prowl to Santa Cruz fucking right. uh, Santa Monica Airlines we fucking all that Vision shit, fucking yeah. you know independent that all that. The skate scenes changed, dude. Oh yeah. There's it's all kinds of new shit now, dude. And I'm like a girl. What the fuck is a girl, dude? Well, it's a skateboard company now. Girl? Girl, dude, yeah. Really? Yeah. I noticed the kids were a thrasher now, too. Yeah, and that, that? kind of that perturbs me because both my girls have thrasher shirts. Yeah, my kid wears a lot of that too. I so still have I still have a thrasher subscription. <laughs> you with the magazine? The is magazine it still I, there? I still get Thrasher and Transworld. Both That's of them. fucking awesome, Kev. Yeah, dude. But uh I showed him, I said, this is what it's about. And the reason you rock Thrasher is because you're representing the skate scene, this, that culture, you right. know. Right, yeah, yeah. But they wear it because it's cool. Well, it's like, it, it's, um, uh, what's it's that? It's become word? mainstream, dude. Yeah, it's, uh, gosh, I just can't think of the term. It's, um, like popular? Or? Yeah, it's popular, but it's like, it's transcended what it's even meant. That's it's what trendy I mean. now. Yeah, it's, it's transcended, which is, yeah. you know, the derivative of trendy. Yeah. It's like the black flag shirts, you know. Yeah, fuck, dude. <laughs> I mean, Oh, that's why I'll hit somebody up like, you know a song? No. Can you tell me a Black Flag song? No, you can't. No, you you tell me to, to anybody in the band. Can you name one person? No. No, okay, okay. no they can't. I mean, it's no. like it's like anything. Those metal shirts, those are popular. Yeah. I mean, they were a few years ago. I'm like out of the loop now. But I mean, the Megadeths and, you know, the Slayer oh, yeah. shirts and stuff like that. Fuck yeah, you even see like Def Leppard. Def Leppard wasn't a fucking metal band. But no. You see Def Leppard shit too. Yeah, that's dude. stuff all, you can walk into Target. Iron Maiden, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. I bought some of my best Iron Maiden shirts at Target. And, I mean, I'm not fucking, like, it's got ashamed Eddie. of that. No, it's, if it's got Eddie on it, it's fucking legit. It's fucking dude. dope, man. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. I've downloaded every single one of their albums on iTunes just for the album cover. Oh, I mean, literally. Yeah. No, they had good art, dude. Oh, it's fucking awesome. But, like, this morning, dude, I fucking woke up. I'm like, because I listen to shit while I'm getting ready. And mm -hmm. I put some cramps on, dude, and I'm like, 
you know what? This really music really isn't cool, but it like puts me back in a time where shit where it sounded cool. You know? No, that's and that's what music does really. It, Nostalgia. Um, yeah, it um, it takes you to a time when here again you were cool, man. Yeah. And I mean, you can pick up on some of the new stuff now and then and get into it and groove it. I mean, I do. I try and stay as topical as I can with that stuff, but I'm an old person. Too. I'm not into the mumble rap, dude. Oh, the I, mumble rap. I can't fucking broke. handle it, dude. No. No. I'm like, this guy isn't singing. This guy really isn't rapping. He's just kind no. of... You know? No, I, I, I don't do that. Um, there's some of it I hear on the radio. You know, I have the satellite radio whenever, and I'll listen yeah. to the beat, and it's fine or whatever, but I, I don't jive with what they're saying. I can't understand what they're saying. I think, like, at the... I think Drake maybe is the um, barometer, the high watermark, is where, like, mumble rap died. You know, yeah. where it took over. I'm sorry. it, it And, like, uh, you know, the uh, clerical... The, uh, the lyrical. I, do, I just don't see the clarity. talent. I don't see the talent in these guys. Like versus when we were coming up, or even before when we when we were kids, those people had talent. Like you could really hear. Like take an Albie Sure, right? No, Albie Sure. He had some good, really good songs, but he, the guy could sing. That was his talent. He could actually sing. You know what I mean? I mean, you you just don't. I don't see real talent there. Well, Justin Bieber can sing, bro. Well, yeah, there's another one, man. I mean, fucking, he but, I mean, transcended. Dude. Let's think about that. I mean, why isn't he putting out stuff? I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not of my liking. The guy's talented. Yeah. You well, know? I think he reached a pinnacle, and then Maybe. once you reach a pinnacle, you're done, dude. Like it's like the first two <laughs> albums and stuff like that. I, I seen uh, fucking Vanilla Ice is building houses now, dude. <laughs> Right? Have you seen that? Yeah. It's like, like any band, though. Your, your first two or three albums are great. <laughs> you know? You then you become a, a character, caricature of yourself. Dude, that's like, I heard the Stones are still touring right now. Dude, they like, make albums like every one or two years. I know, and this guy is like 75 years old, dude. And he Out just there said, dancing his ass off. Oh, my God, dude. That's crazy, right? But that longevity, I mean, besides the longevity, they got fucking... Five songs right off the bat. I mean, they're fucking boom, 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 badass songs. Dude. Yeah, and they're still out there doing it. And they'll fucking, they're probably the biggest selling band ever. And if you'd make a concert or whatever, I don't know. Well, you know, my top three is uh, Sade. Sade. Nice Sade, huh? Oh, my God, dude. I got to see her when she came to SAC. I love, really? Love Sade. The Soldier dude. of Love Tour? Yes. Yeah, that was a great album. Oh, man. That was her last good one. Mm -hmm. Prince. Like Prince, he passed away. R.I.P., man. Absolutely. And uh, Metallica, to dude. Friends. Those are my top three right there. Metallica, huh? But, you know, Metallica took a turn, too, after they did the Black Album, man. Right. I mean, did you listen to them through the 90s at oh, all? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Did you? But, but, I mean, you got fucking Justice for All, right? Master yeah. of Puppets. Here again. You're, you're, it's like the first three, you're always fire, man. Yeah, it was. you're right. It was fire, and then fucking they just fell off. Or they became uh, mainstream. like. Right. But have you listened to their last two albums? Yeah. They're pretty good, man. Yeah, no, no. They picked it up. The last album, they kind of picked it up where I started hearing some of that flavor, yeah. some of that blood yeah. from the, uh, you know. But then again, man, here they, they just kind of like they're aping themselves. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're trying to relive themselves. Yeah. But I'm okay with that. I really am. We're that age, dude. That's what I'm saying. Fucking, we're creeping on it, dude. You're going to have a new perspective because you're going to hit 50 before I am, dude. Shut up. You're getting there, dude. No, you're going to pass me. I got my hips fixed. Fabulous 50. So you got like 30-year-old hips now, mm -hmm. dude. You're going to start going. That's right, dude. I'm like, hey, fucking, hey, dude. It works. <laughs> Believe me. It works. That, see, you've been wondering how your hips went bad, dude. Hey, it's because you've been boning so hard. Tried dude. them bitches out the other night, dude. They work now. <laughs> they work. You've been rocking the cash bar, dude. Fucking, <laughs> you, you need a hip replacement, bro. That's awesome. Hey, it worked, man. I'm going to tell you, everybody, anyone wants to listen, man, you're feeling that, that that little arthritis in your hips, go get them changed out. Go get them changed out, man. Dude, I'm I'm dreading my next shoulder one, man, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be on the DL with there, you, dude. There is nothing to dread anymore, Kev. The science and the medicine that they have now and the medical techniques that they can do, they can fix you, man. You know what they're going to do next? Six on million me? dollar man, me, dude? Yes, thank you. That's, that's what I have in my mind. Right now, I have two titanium spikes. They're driving from the hip bone down into Your my femurs. femur. Yeah. And how they achieved that was they cut my femur bone, and then they drilled a hole in the femur bone, and they inserted those two titanium spikes in there and attached them back to my hip bone. So what is next from that? They do your knees. Fuck, dude. Wow. So next is my knees. Dude, you're going to be like 6'2 when you're done, dude. I know. I can't wait. <laughs> Let's close out fucking forties fashion, dude. <laughs> and throw some super hands on that shit. <laughs> it's 
So what do we got up there, man? Fucking, you pick it, bro. Mm, let's get a little heavy, man. Let's go to immigration. Immigration. Oh. All right, let's do this. Um, I don't really know too much about what's going on with it right now. Outside of we have some loud mouth on the button who's against it. But, I mean, at the last that I had heard, we are trying to co- close the California border. Is that correct? Or um, Last I heard on it was that uh, they're overflowed. All the beds are full and shit. They got no place to detain them. So they're letting these people, they arrest them, then they let them loose. Okay. So then the next step they said was, was well, we have all these sanctuary states, these sanctuary right. cities. Okay, yeah, that's right. Because Phoenix, El Paso, San Antonio, fucking all the border, you know, states and uh, their fucking cities are overwhelmed with illegal immigrants. Mm -hmm. So now Trump was like, hey, why don't we go ahead and send them to San Francisco? Why don't we send them to New York? And then the mayors of San Francisco and New York were like, hey, fuck no, we can't take them. I heard Gavin Newsom talk on something like that. Yeah, so... He kind of threw it at him, man. And it, that's the one thing I always see with this guy. It's like he's a step ahead. Everybody thinks he's an idiot and shit, but it's, it's like he's a step ahead. Well, I, to be honest with you, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, that's kind of like if you call your shot and you want to be this sanctuary city, as you yeah. speak, then be it, man. That's I what mean, I'm saying, man. Especially here in California where we live, because here again, we have a surplus of money to take care of these people. But yet we have this homeless problem, and yet we have this so-called immigration problem. I don't see that honestly i see the homeless problem you, you know why lives. we don't bro because we're we're in the middle of california I right, mean, right we're in the middle yeah right if you go down to fucking you go down to san diego dude or you go down to fucking even long beach it's right. fucking overwhelming dude. and I've, I've heard that but i'm such a realist i need to see this shit with my own eyes well here, here's the way it is bro it's like uh you're hiring illegal people to work for you right I'm pretty sure the guys that did my fence back here were legal dudes, right. right? But basically what happens is you get a bid for a job, and let's say it's 1500 bucks. And this illegal rolls in, and he's like, hey, dude, I'll do it for 1000 Well, dude, yeah, I'm going to take your $1,000 bid, dude, you know? But what's happening is you got more illegals undercutting the other illegals, so you're getting a fucking... Yeah, but in the same time, that's capitalism. Yeah, it is, man. I mean, it is. <laughs> And the only thing that will fix that is my fucking federal sales tax plan, dude. <laughs> I love your federal sales tax plan. I really do. Yeah, but I, do. I, I really think what they need to do with immigration, man, is fucking uh-huh. streamline it, right? Like you arrest them, okay, you did a crime or whatever. Give them a green card right then, right? Like a green social security card. Because we got blue social security cards, right? Right, right. So if they're cool for like five years... They didn't commit any crimes or any of that kind of shit. Their green card turns blue, and they're fucking Americans. That works for me, man. But right from the get-go, quit fucking baby them. Give them the green card. Here you go. Yeah, You're, you want to get in, man. Yeah, go. go off. Go off. Do your thing in America. Yeah, go ahead. I like that, Kev. Yeah, fuck I mean, you. Hey, man, you, you worked as hard as you can to get here. Then here, here you go. Yep. Go make your life. If you can't, it's your five-year window. Yeah. That's another thing. Maybe fucking don't make the services of all the free shit fucking available to them, dude. Because if you're coming here just to get a handout, that ain't fucking the American dream right off the bat, dude. I don't know that they all are. I mean, it's just the allure of the American dream itself. I mean, let's th- let's think about that. I mean, I don't know this. I don't have actual stats on this. But from my perspective, people that take advantage of that are Americans. No, a lot of Americans do. I'm not, I mean, and I would say in mass, that's probably who take advantage of it, so to speak. And those people come here for a better life. They're I, I trying seen, to work. I've seen some numbers on it. So, like... Um, in the first five years, it's like 80% of illegals take advantage of that shit, right? Mm-hmm. But after 10 years, it's down to like 30%. Right. Now, on the other spectrum, as Americans start off as 18-year-old adults, you have like 15% of our country takes advantage of those programs. But 10 years later... It's like 30% of Americans are on those programs. Well, and that goes back to this. That's it's kind of reverse. That's kind of the the American way, Kev. I mean, you yeah. think about it. Your family and your father, they taught you to go to work, right? Yeah, fuck yeah. That's what happened to me, and here I am. I'm a productive citizen. Those folks, their family probably taught them, hey, man, stay home. We have we have a whole you know uh, system to get us by. Well, their whole getting life, too, man, fucking, you know as well as I do, it's changed from when we were kids, when fucking Atari, Pong, right. that shit was video games to us, right? Mm-hmm. These video games now, they're fucking, you can live a whole nother life <laughs> as a character in any game you choose. 
Mm-hmm. Build up your equity, your fucking, <laughs> your fucking, you know, powers, your guns, all that kind of, you right? Right. And these kids fucking roll around on those games for seven, eight hours a day, bro. Yeah, I know. I have a 17-year-old, believe me. I mean, they do it. Like that Fortnite, dude, it's like crack. <laughs> I, know. I see kids that are five, six years old fucking torqued out on Fortnite. So, I see 40-year-old fucking <laughs> mama's boys horrible. still at home. Because, you know, my job, dude, I go into different people's houses all day long. That's what I do. And I see this dude. He's like fucking 38, 40 years old, living with his mom, fucking playing Fortnite, dude. That's sad. And, I mean, that's a, it's only going to get worse from there, Kev. Seriously. I mean, think about it. No, it is, dude. Have you ever see that movie Ready Player One? I have not watched that. Dude, okay, so I held off on seeing it, but my right. son was like, fucking dad, you gotta watch this, you gotta watch this. So it came freebie on TV one night. Right, I see it on the Netflix dude, for free now. it's fucking, it's a good movie. I'll dude. check it out then. Dude, I was so surprised. I was like, holy shit, it's like an 87 out of 100. Hmm, hmm. That's hard to do. I don't really like movies that much. Either. Dude, and I was, because I mean, uh, if they had that type of shit, I could see people... When you see the movie, you'll be like, okay, I can see how people do that because they're living inside the game. Well, yeah, and then their reality becomes distorted, and that becomes their reality. Dude, and I'm, I know this ain't even on the board. This is one thing that pissed me off too, dude. So i seen a thing on uh, what happens to electric car batteries after they're fucking dead, right? What? Dude, they are like the worst thing you could ever put in a landfill. Well, maybe that's why we're you know doing gas too. So dude, I, I mean, know. but... You're trying to save the planet by not using gas to use an electric car, right? right? But the end of all means, the pollution that it gives to the planet, that car battery, you're talking like some of them are 350-pound batteries, right? These cells decay, and they're going to be decaying the earth for like six, 700 years, dude. I'm like, how come this is never made public, dude? Well, that's no green solution, is it? It's not, bro. <laughs> it's like that's actually hurting the earth where gas may be polluting the air. But this is actually fucking hurting the earth, dude. You know hey, what I mean? hey, man, you ever seen that thing on the YouTube? I think Neil Young was into it for a while, too. It was like the car that got like 300 miles a gallon Oh, yeah, yeah, or yeah. Something. Tucker. Yeah. Tucker made that Remember shit. That? Yeah, yeah, Tucker made it, yeah. Okay, why couldn't they, you know, it, it got so much to the gallon, right? I mean, I get that. Dude, he made a tank that got 120 miles a gallon. Okay, let's take that right there. Why don't we charge... However, it is X amount for the gallon, and still use that engine, and we're using less gas, right? But we're dude, paying the same amount of money, and I'm it's less you. emissions. And I'm stuff. with you here, dude. So, I can never, I didn't, I never saw that fully developed, so I don't understand it okay, all. Okay, so I seen another turn on this is when I read a, this is my fourth book I've read on Tesla. Mm-hmm. He just amazes me, dude. So Tesla came up with some shit that's fucking like free fucking power for everyone. Elon yeah. Musk did this. <laughs> he actually powered the city of Denver, Colorado, though, for a full year for free. Really? Because they let him do his experiments and shit. But he powered the whole city for free. But what happens is Westinghouse, uh, Edison, these companies come in and buy Tesla's shit. And then they control it. It's the same thing with mobile fucking Chevron. So basically capitalism takes over. Yeah, eventually. they come in and they say, no, 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 no. You don't, we don't need that 300 mile per hour uh, fucking carburetor. We're going to buy it. And we'll put it in the fucking bank over here. Wow. This fucking 15 mile a gallon carburetor is just fine. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we discharge X amount of, for gas and everybody's Yeah, I see what happy. you're saying. Like $7 a gallon. Let's yeah. do $7 a gallon gas. And your car gets fucking 100 miles a gallon. Yeah, great. We're all happy. Same difference, yes. I see, I see it, man. Mm. This is one thing I've tripped on, too, man. Like, if we're really a fucking really good society, let's let's just say pick any car you want, like a VW Bug, right? Say we all drive VW Bugs. Everybody owns a VW Bug, right? Then if somebody's broke down on the road, everybody's going to know how to fix that fucking car or what's <laughs> wrong with it, right? But we don't we don't think that way. No. But that that would totally help everyone out, dude. You know what I mean? Because yeah. everyone would know that engine. They would know the fucking trans, all that shit, you know? Yeah, but we all got to have our own little individuality about us and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but you could, that's a, you know, like, when I talk to God, I don't know if you pray, Nate, but I pray every night to God. And I, I, I fuck with God, too. I don't just uh, praise him all the time. Uh, I, uh... I pray in need. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, kind of bad. I do it out of duty like every day <laughs> on my knees. That's awesome. I put it down sometimes fucking 30 seconds, sometimes four or five minutes. But I always told God, I just can't believe like 
why would God just make like white, black, Asian, Hispanic? You know what I mean? Why wouldn't he make plaid people or polka dot people? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all part of the struggle, man. I mean, it's just, just kind of his test to make us all get along, too, though. Who knows? I, I think that's what aliens would do. I really do. I think if aliens came down, then all of a sudden, all that race shit would be gone because now you're human. Maybe just put it all in one box right there. Here yeah. you are. Here we are. The great equalizer. Aliens. That's it, dude. <laughs> aliens is the fucking cause to it all, dude. <laughs> Fuck, we're, we're, we're drifting, dude. It's nice, we're drifting. Man. I'm drifting, dude. We're, we're 40 minutes deep, dude. We're drifting. Seriously? Yeah, so. Jesus. Let's see, man. How about um, sitcoms, dude? Go. go ahead. Let's do some sitcoms, dude. What have you checked out recently? You seen any new ones? Or? Uh, you know, I've been watching cartoons, man. Yeah, so have I. Go my, ahead. Gran- my granddaughter, like Vampire. Oh. <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, I've been watching uh, Paw Patrol. Fucking like cartoons. Like, cartoon shit, dude. Like, really, yeah. like Disney Life. Or Bob's Burger. There's another one. I watch it occasionally. I get dude, it. Dude, I dig it. The writers for that show are fucking legit, dude. Yeah, it's uh, I like all the puns they use and yeah. stuff. I'm a fucking fool for puns. Um, that's pretty good. Have you seen the uh, one on Netflix? It's called um, oh, Jesus F for Family. Nah. It's Bill Burr. If you know who Bill Burr oh, is, yeah, 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 it's his. He he voices a lot of it. He plays the main character. It's it's really good. It's uh the main character character would be like an Archie Bunker type. It's from <laughs> the seventies and stuff. It's basically his life. You know when he was growing up as a kid. Kind so of like it, Chris Rock did when uh, yeah, it's he, something along those lines. It's a lot more unfiltered though, so to speak, because it's on Netflix and you know it gives you that Archie Bunker, that all in the family feel. It really does, man. It's good. I highly recommend it. Check it out, dude. And that's what uh, one thing I was getting at, man. Like, we grew up with Archie Bunker, right? We yep. grew up with the Jeffersons, yep. fucking Sanford and Son. Yep. And there's a lot of fucking Indo in Sanford and Son, man. Oh yeah, a lot. I mean, there's a lot of Indo 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 and shit in there that you can't get away with that shit nowadays, dude. Well, no, I mean, we live in a time now is where there is a. Uh... There's a limit to that kind of stuff, so to speak. The PC culture. Yes, exactly. But if you watch the new stuff and if it's done well, they uh, they get around it. I don't even want to say they get around it. They just give it like a new flavor. Is where it's even it's funnier. It's funny in this day and age, so the, to speak. The only thing I think I see that pushes the envelope all the time is fucking American Horror Story, dude. I've watched a, I've watched one whole season of that. Um, What's what season was it? It was the one about the election. I can't. Oh remember. yeah, yeah. Colt. It yeah. was called Colt. Yeah, it was great, man. It, it was all great right. actors. Yeah, it was all right. The, and that's the cool thing about it is they use the same actors. Yeah, that was interesting. Because the very first season, the horror house, that first season is fucking legit. I've been told that. That's legit. I liked second season, which was Asylum. That I've was pretty because it too. had aliens and it had interracial shit. That okay. was pretty cool. All right. Um, the Roanoke, I wasn't down with that one. That was fucking weird. So Wh- the Witches one was good. It sounds like you watched them all, then. Dude, all of them. And that's what I'm saying. They push the envelope, though. They fucking do it with sex. They do it with fucking uh, language. They do it with, uh, um, you know, the gay thing. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, it's topical, basically, for you know what's going on right now. This last one was all right, dude, where they had the Antichrist and what shit. What was it called? Um, Apocalypse. It was the last season? Yeah. I'll check it out on the Netflix or whatever. I like that one, and I'm trying to think of another one. Uh, I watch Vikings. I haven't checked that out yet. How is that, dude? Like any, the just like thing with bands, dude. The first two years was fucking sick. Like I can't wait till next week, and then the third season, you're like, oh, I don't know, dude. You know what is the problem with uh, sustaining? You know what I mean? Dude, with I think those it's things. like anything else, though, man. Just like love, like so. <coughs> I told you, me and my wife been married. When we were first together, it was hot and heavy, fucking two times a day, fucking all the time, <laughs> right? And by the year six or seven, you're like fucking once or twice a week, you know? It just fucking... I don't know. It's year six or seven into The Sopranos, I was still very into my wife, so to speak. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's just yeah. like, I think there's just, there's classic ones, and there's just ones that just like, they can't sustain themselves for whatever reason. Yeah, or you just need to retool, and that's what Vi- Vikings did last year. They retooled, and it fucking came out. Like Sons of Anarchy, there's another one, man. I, I, I did watch most of that. It was okay. I guess. Yeah. I mean, we're falling off of what the topic is of... Uh, no, it's still it's sitcoms, man. Sitcoms, but I mean, when you get into like classic TV and what have you, um, 
I know there's only a few shows, bro. Archie, or, I mean, a fam, uh, all wonder, the family I'm, is one of them. I'm wondering though because we only had three channels back in the day, right? Maybe. Maybe you're right about that. That's a good point. Because you're only watching one of three things. Like cheers. <laughs> like you're either watching Falcon Crest or you're watching Dynasty. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you're either watching one or the other. Yeah, I mean, there's some that are out there still, too, that are, uh, you know, from your times go by that were, I mean, considered classics now. And as an example, have you ever watched Seinfeld? I mean, I've oh, fuck it, yeah, like dude. recently, recently. Yeah. It's oh, yeah. dated. It doesn't do it for me anymore. Man. Yeah. I mean, how are you with that? I mean, I like Kramer. Kramer was my guy on that show, dude. Yeah, I mean, mean, fucking the whole the laugh track stuff, and it's it's condescending almost. Yeah, the humor is just like it's too built up to the joke, and you know, like uh, well, like Cheers, right? Remember Cheers? Same thing. You know, Uh, but I'm a Seinfeld dude. I was a freak for Kramer. Like the the one episode I know you remember it. His dog got sick. Yes, and they gave the dog cough medicine or something, right? So Kramer starts taking the fucking dog medicine. <laughs> That's just funny, dude. I mean, you can't beat that. I mean, I mean it's serious. Funny. It's legit shit, dude. No, it is. But, I mean, watch that stuff again and tell me how hard you laugh. Yeah, I know. It's As compared to, like, a, um, you know, uh, what's the Larry David one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, that's probably the funniest sitcom of all time. Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah, Curb Your Enthusiasm. That's what it is. I mean, know. come on. I mean, that's kind of like the gold standard in what's yeah. a sitcom. Well, he's the original Seinfeld. I mean, that's who yeah, he is. Yeah, I mean, you take it back to that. I mean, yeah. he was the writer. So, yeah. But I mean, just the day-to-day mundane shit without the script and the no laugh track. It's naturally, organically fucking yeah. funny, man. Because it's just him and his friends riffing on each other. I started watching one called Barry. I watched it. Yeah. I got about a season into it, man. It's yeah. pretty good. It's All pretty right. good, man. How do you, how you feel about that one? I don't know. I just checked out one episode the other night. Check it, it out. It was like fucking three in the morning, so I was like fucking, you know, just flipping through. I said, fuck, I'll watch this. It's not bad. Um, another one, you, if you're into that kind of thing, um, Brockmire, have you checked that out yet? Brockmire. Brockmire. I yes. highly recommend Brockmire. Yes. yes, It's basically about a, um old school... Uh, Sheriff. No, 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 no. It's about a, an old school uh, baseball announcer. He's the baseball announcer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I and know, he's okay. just fucking wild out, drug addict, just, you know, whatever, whatever. It's... Dude, I'll tell you one that got me was the serial killer one, dude. Oh. Fucking, uh... How to... Making a murderer? Or? No, no, no. It was a serial killer fucking... God damn, when I'm farting on his fucking name. Uh, it was a one name like Simon or... He was a serial killer, and he showed you how he killed people and shit. Iceman? No, no, no. Fucking, it was a... God damn it. You guys know who the fuck I'm talking about. It's not about. Ted Bunny. It's not the Ted Bunny. No, no, no. Guy. It was a... Uh, it was a dramatization. It was a weekly show. Was it on Netflix? Or? Yeah, fuck it. No, no. It was like on HBO or something. But he did like eight seasons. But I watched fucking from episode one all the way, binge watch that motherfucker to the end, dude. Fucking... I don't know. He was a he was a, like a detect, not a detective. He's a CI or uh, what is it called? A crime okay. scene. Yeah, that's it's on Netflix, man. He's a, I don't know the name of it is either, but he, he it's the one. If it's the one I'm thinking of, and it's really yeah. fucking good, man. Yeah, he would draw back on cases as to find out what what went on in serial killers' minds as to when why they killed people. Is that the one? I'm trying to think. Gosh, damn it! I'm gonna fucking. I know his fucking. I'm just gonna put in here serial killer. Uh, TV show. Oh, jeez. Oh, here it came up on Netflix. That's the one you're talking about. Yeah, what is it called? It's popular with serial killers. Uh, Dexter. Oh, that one's good, too, man. Dexter. Yeah, Dexter. Fucking, yeah. I was flaking on the name. Dexter's Dexter. fucking good, dude. Yeah, that's good shit, man. I like that shit, man. It kept me going. But, I mean... The show quality today, like, isn't the same. Like, you had the Waltons, right? Right. Uh, take, the Waltons. Take the Waltons, man. Like, fucking... That's Americana at its best, dude. I mean, that's the way shit used to be like that, right? In every episode, they got, like, a fucking... John Boy or Mel- Mary Ellen's gonna learn a fucking lesson, <laughs> right? Whether it's about trading or maybe fucking working hard and getting something. There was always a fucking... Into a means in every episode. <laughs> it was not, was it ever about meeting the wrong guy at the do drop in, Kevin? You know, <laughs> <laughs> it may happen, dude. <laughs> that was good shit, though. You're right, man. I forget about all those. The old just good time, fucking hour long dramas, man. Yeah, man. Fucking just like, what would you sit down and watch with your kids today, dude? 
I don't know, but it, it, see, it all goes back to that three channel thing. Yeah. You know, if there were only three channels, I'm sure I could figure something out that's really, you know, Cause distinct you have, for our family yeah. and would be good. Because now, really, you got endless supply. Like, I got Prime Video. You got uh, Amazon Prime? I got all that shit, man. So, I just recently found out about eight months ago that Amazon Prime allows me to view Prime Video. Right. When I got mm-hmm. on Prime Video. <laughs> oh, yeah. That unlocks a whole Fucking 30,000 titles, dude. Yeah. I'm watching Conan. I'm mm-hmm. watching Dark Crystal. Fucking <laughs> Labyrinth. <laughs> fucking... Cool. You know, all the old school shit, dude. Uh, they got a good selection of old 80s uh, late night stuff on Enemy there too, Mine, man. there's another one I can watch. <laughs> dude, I mean, that's a good flick, dude. But Fucking, uh, we'll turn it out on sitcoms, man. That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we got, man? Oh, how about that smile thing, dude? That'd be real quick. So, what I heard was, if you just smile, right? If you just sit there and smile all by yourself. You're going to fucking start thinking about something happy, right? And eventually that fake smile that you're putting on your face will lead you to be, be in a happier point of view. Yes, I completely agree with that, Kevin. I came up in an industry, actually, the first, uh, my mentor actually told me that if I didn't smile when I was taking phone calls, she was going to put a mirror in front of my face to make sure that I was smiling. It's just, it's one of those things. I mean, if you just put on that front, even it's uh you're gonna be a happier person in general it doesn't even matter how you're feeling it's really weird great example man woke up with my wife this morning she was totally pissed off because she didn't get any sleep and you know i can't really sleep too good these days i gotta get up a lot through the night and uh you know she woke up and the first thing i asked her is like how you feeling she's like ah this is a shitty night i didn't sleep or whatever and i smiled and she's like ah yeah man maybe things are getting a little bit bit better (laughs) so i mean it it just all goes to show it's like it's just what you put on outside and um what you try and draw in that's kind of what's going to happen to you I, I, I'm going to try it, man, because uh, I get pissed sometimes, and I'm just going to try to remind myself, hey, smile. And I'm going to smile and see how it makes me feel. It, feel. it feels really good, Kev. Wake up every morning with a smile, man. Seriously. Oh, yeah. yeah, no. Serious. You're not a hard guy to fucking convince of that, though, man. You're a happy dude no, in general. I, I generally am, yeah, man. I'm generally a happy guy, dude. I've been through some bad shit already, right. so I got a lot to look back on Everybody and be thankful has. for, man. But that's just something to throw out there. It's a quick topic. Hey, fucking smile. Smile more. Smile a little bit, yeah. Okay, we got a good 10 minutes here, dude. What do we got? Last wrap-up topic, dude. Do we still have anything left? How about fucking... We didn't do drugs, dude. No, we didn't. We have a good 10 (laughs) minutes left on drugs, Kevin. I'm going to let you start that. You go right ahead. All right, man. Fucking... So... That's one of the things, fucking... When I started hanging out with Nate, dude, when I was a young man, dude... I had a fake ID, and these guys were already like 21, 20, 21, whatever. Or even before that, when we used to go fucking, uh, I don't know if they do this anymore. Do they go fucking uh, steal beer from liquor stores? I don't really know. I mean, I don't think the kids like drink in mass anymore. You know what I'm saying? Do you think they that. have road parties like we used to have? No. Fucking road parties and shit? No, they don't do that, man. No. Um, they're like you said, they're the millennial types, and they just sit in front of their fucking computers and video games and whatever. Now the buddies come do, over and maybe smoke some pot and shit. Some hookah, they yeah. they do hookah and shit. You know, maybe they'll go steal their old man's bottle or what have you. But in mass, I don't think that stuff happens anymore. I really don't. No, I mean, but uh, when when we were coming up, fucking, you get drink like we get drunk, right? Yeah, that's where it all started. I man. mean, that's where it started. They always say pot's a gateway drug, but I think it's alcohol. I think alcohol is a gateway drug, man. Is it anymore? Because I'm going to tell you right now where my kids started out. Yeah. Prescription pills. Oh, yeah, dude. So that's another topic there, dude. So I I fucking heard this. I was at a doctor's office. I heard this uh, conversation between a woman and the doctor. All her pills were gone because her kills ha- kids had a pill party. All right. So I'm listening. What these kids did was all of them took the prescription pills out of their <laughs> parents' fucking... Uh, right. They poured in a bowl. And you go grab a handful of pills and you eat them. What the fuck? That could be laxatives. That could be anything, Dude, man. <laughs> her fucking birth control, her fucking uh, <laughs> antidepressants, right? All this shit. She's like, I have no pills. They're all gone. And I'm like, holy shit. What the fuck were these kids I doing? I know. Dude? That sounds like a little bit of fun, maybe. A little bit. Dude, the but, element I mean, of mystery like, of it all. Real, you're going to be happy and depressed. Happy. And I mean, I, I'm like, oh, holy fuck. So 
These kids, they have these pill parties where they pour everything in a bowl and they just grab a handful and you fucking eat it, dude. And I'm like, <laughs> holy shit. Whatever happened to drugs, we just knew what they were going to do, right? Let's oh, do some like, cocaine. Let's yeah. fucking, you know, whatever. Well, you know, back in the day, we had some good kind of crank. Yeah. I don't even think they have crank now, dude. I don't think that they do that anymore. I think meth is kind of like old head type stuff. I don't know. I think even when Breaking Bad came out, I think that ice or the meth that they yeah, did in that. you're it, right. I it, think that was a little dated. It was outdated, yeah. yeah. you're right at that point. But I remember back in the day, like uh, we had like a rosebud colored crank. <laughs> peanut butter. The peanut butter <laughs> crank, dude. I mean, there were certain reps, recipes that went around, dude. But yeah. but you, you chopped that shit up and you fucking did fucking it at a party it. and whatever, man. You drank all night. I don't think it was like... I don't know the kids do this anymore. But I don't think it's like the meth that people smoke these days. I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know. We both had that one friend, dude, that fucking smoked it and shit. And, you oh, know, yeah. and I mean, oh, yeah. ended up butt naked in the corner, <laughs> fucking. You know, I mean, shit happens, dude. But maybe still doing it. <laughs> Could be, dude. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't want to throw any some fucking out great shit now, dude. Who knows? But I mean, I never wanted to do crank like every day. Like, I like to sleep, you know what I mean? No, I, I, I like the party itself. Yeah, like I like the whole party. experience, man. Like, you know, when we used to go to a party or something, you'd be like, somebody would be like, oh, we got shrooms. Oh, really? <laughs> well, let's do some shrooms. Right. Or fucking, I got acid. All right, I guess we're dropping acid tonight. I mean, it, <laughs> it was just like whatever was kind of around, you kind of did it. But it wasn't a daily fucking thing. Uh, there was no uh, kids put, throwing all their, ki- their parents' pills into a fucking tub and and i think that's what's happened with this generation though is these kids they get on a drug and they got to do it like every day or like every 30 uh, minutes or something like that right where we we used to party and shit it would just be like basically friday or saturday yeah i liked it for the party dude that's why i did it yeah I mean, you I know mean, once in a eventually it kind of caught up to me but you know i let it go and then that's when i discovered the freaking virtues of marijuana and alcohol <laughs> and it stayed on that vein dude i can trace my first time smoking weed was with weller we got a <laughs> we got a bag of sticks and stems and seeds it was just fucking <laughs> came out of somebody's ball sack they smuggled across the border dude. right we went out to Harold in this fucking uh, abandoned barn out there in my car. We rolled up like 30 joints, dude, like toothpicks. You know what I mean? We didn't know how to roll a joint. And we sat there and we smoked all of them. We didn't even get high. We got like a headache. <laughs> you got a you, fucking hay you know, headache. Yeah, we got a headache. You don't man. even know if you were smoking pot, really. Yeah, I don't even know if we knew how to inhale, you know? <laughs> we were just trying to be cool and shit with each other. But, but you progress with drugs, man, and I think... <laughs> There's got to be that point, like you're saying, maybe like when we hit 30 or something. That's what it is, man. Eventually, if you, once you hit 30 or you have your family and what have you, you just kind of get on the other side. And you're like, ah, well, you know, these things are more important to me. And uh, for those that don't experience that, well, you know, they stay on the other side. Well, you know, that was me, man. When I hit 18, uh, that's when it basically ended right there because I had a daughter. Yeah. And I was like, fucking, there's no way I'm going to be a dad like I had. You know, I live with six different families, dude. You know, I, gr- I grew up with a different, different than most folks. But right. I said, I am not going to fucking do this to my kids. I'm going to make sure they got me at least to fucking lean on, you know. Right. So I didn't start really partying and shit again until I hit 30. <laughs> That's nice. You know, man. once my kids were a little older. But fucking... I think what it is, too, people, uh, they have addictive personalities. That's a lot of it, too. And it turns into addictive right. uh, drug use. Well, I have an addictive personality. Fuck, I can't shake chew. I mean, I can't shake pot. I Nate, mean. when I went to rehab, dude, fucking everybody in there was smoking cigarettes. Well, yeah, like that's they're quitting. Of... They're quitting heroin. They're quitting cocaine. Yeah. But they can't fucking stop smoking cigarettes. That's see? part of it, man. You drink <laughs> coffee and you fucking smoke cigarettes. That's well, part of it. And you know, there's a chemical process. So, like, when you do drugs, it puts holes in uh, metaphorical holes in your brain, right? Hmm. So when you drink caffeine, it kind of helps bury that hole. Then you put nicotine on top of it, and that hole's pretty much covered up. <laughs> Is that what they do? After the cigarettes and the coffee. You're good. <laughs> and then they just start talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking jamming, dude. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. <laughs> so the best, one of the best stories I heard in rehab, dude, this fucking guy was a pharmacist. <laughs> nice. He had a black card, a fucking American Express black card, right? <laughs> Which I never heard of, but basically has no limit. Right. Really you just pay off the balance at the end of the month. Right. That's how the black card works. <laughs> so this guy wakes up in fucking uh, Tahiti. <laughs> he woke up and everything around him is in fucking language he can't read and shit and he's like fucking goes to the front desk finds out it's three days 
He'd been blacked out for three days. Jesus, man. That's a bender. Ran up 12 grand on his fucking <laughs> cars, dude. And he's wow. fucking... Yeah, it took him It took him every bit of three days to get back home. But that's when he was like fucking... That's where I, I bought him from him. That's huh? when he bought him down. He's like, I need to fucking... Uh, you know. Damn. And uh, if I remember correctly, he was saying all the dudes that he was partying with were dudes. They weren't chicks. They looked like chicks. <laughs> You know what I mean? They look like chicks, but they're dudes. You got a little morning fucking party for uh, 12 dude, grand. You wake up and your butthole hurts, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. You need to go to rehab. I hope I don't fucking bottom out that hard ever. <laughs> uh, yeah. Dude. But it ain't for everybody, man. Some people can pull that shit off. I mean, like, you know me. I'm I'm your classic partier. Yeah. I, mean, no, I can party, dude. But, um, you know, my wife is an example. She had to quit, like, what, three years ago. It's just, it ain't for everybody, man. Yeah. Some people, they cannot literally handle alcohol and and that's let's let's get it out here i mean heroin's gonna kill you and what have you but alcohol is gonna be the one that's gonna fucking drive you down because that's where kind of it all starts and it's where you all go it's where you go back to eventually and then uh once once you go back to that just relying upon it for your addiction purposes yeah it's a i've seen the the uh, very very ill effects of that and um you know yeah, uh, don't drink kids you know man fucking I drink basically Thursday nights when I go bowling. I'll drink three beers, use what right. I drink, 16-ounce beers. Or if uh, socially, I'll drink at a party or some barbecue, something like that. Right. But um, I'm I'm not a rare case, but there are people that can't drink two beers and that's it. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I live with one. I mean, it's 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 crazy. It's It was... Um... It was literally the worst experience of my life, man, because, I mean, I'm your, like I said, I'm your classic partier, and then, like, not have your mate be able to do that with you yeah. because she has a sickness and what have you. Yeah. And, um, well, we almost fucking divorced about that and a lot of other stuff, too, but, I mean, here we are. But it just suffices to say, man, it ain't for everybody. Not everybody no, you, can pull you, that off. You live in the, uh, when you go through the program, I've been through the program. And, have you? Uh, yeah, and what happens is you, you learn that you cannot live or coexist Two alcoholics will never make it. Right. No. You can't have that. It just doesn't work. Right. Eventually, it's going to fucking tip top. And the other one that's hard is one one sober and the other one continues to drink. I do that. Yeah. That's what. That's the relationship that I have with my wife right now. And it, it was fucking extremely strained at first because, I mean, you know, obviously she's an alcoholic. She can't drink. And I'm in there having shots and just being me, you know, every two, yeah. to, every two to three days after work or whatever, I want to come home and tie one on a little bit. I'll have four or five shots of whiskey, and that was just not fucking flying. But she, she got used to it, or she accepted me eventually for it, and well, it kind know, of strengthened our relationship. See, but I feel bad about it a little bit. See, I'm in your wife's position because I can't smoke weed anymore. If I yeah, could right. do anything, I would want to smoke weed. I'm and sure, I, man. And I can't. So when my wife was doing it at first and we got remarried, I was like, hey, the deal is you can't smoke weed anymore, you know? Oh, yeah. But then I felt like a little Hitler or something. Like, yeah. fucking, why am I being such a dick? She should be able to smoke weed. Right. You know? If someone doesn't have a problem with it, and that's my perspective, too. If someone doesn't have a problem with it, man, and you're in love with them, then there's no reason why you, should, they sh you shouldn't... Uh, let them do what they love. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly where it's at. And you then, have to come to that conclusion. My See, I've been growing now for like 18 years. I've been growing weed. I still grow weed. Even though I, I really? can't smoke it, I right. still grow it, dude. Oh, yeah, man. That's and a it, passion. And it's, uh, it's meditative, though, man. It really, oh, yeah. It no, really I is. It I grow, fucking, too. And, uh... It's very therapeutic, man. Not being able to smoke it, though, is such a fucking a hitch. That's got to be hard. It, it is, but when I see that those big, beautiful colas, I see the fucking trichromes You at least want to try that fucking, out. Oh, man, I do want to. But, yeah. hey, and my whole goal is I'll be there someday. I just can't do it right now. Right. Well, I'll yeah. always be there for you, man. Yeah. Believe me. Fuck yeah, dude. Hey, you ever think about doing acid again? Fuck yeah, dude. Me too, a lot. I want to do it once. I shroomed like three weeks ago. Did you? Yeah. What What happened? What's up? Dude, I got so drunk it wasn't even cool. Oh, really? I got fucking hammered. Yeah, you just got to like just do it by itself, I think. It was at night too, you know, the stars and everything. It was, oh, it was a little cool, but yeah, I wish I wouldn't have drank as much. Right. Yeah, you just probably just passed out, huh? Dude, it fucking, it faded. It was cool for about 20, 30 minutes. And then, uh, then maybe they're not as good as what we used to do too, so I don't know. I don't know too. That could be different, but... Ass has been floating around, dude. My yeah. son told me he could get some. Really? Like, well, fucking. It's I'm a thinking, weekend. That's a whole weekend. I know. Deal. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. 
I'd wait till you're fucking healed up, dude. Oh yeah, well that's all in the equation too. But you know, <laughs> that's, that's part of my new hit plan. Dude, we hit an hour and four, Nate. I want to wow. pre- thank you. I appreciate you, brother. Thank coming you, out, Kev. Help me out with Hell this yeah, shit, man. man. It's been a pleasure. Seriously. Fucking, uh, I didn't know I could pull this off, man. Great. Dude, we did an hour, no problem, dude.